Hey everybody, welcome back once again to the America's Army OP cast. I'm Dev Tots, joined by... Dev Rarster. And we are here to talk about the opt-in. And more importantly, all your questions that have kind of come up from that. You know, you've played it, you've posted about it. We'll yeah. cover some of the stuff that's been brought up. We went through posts. the forums, you know, looked at all the posts, looked at all the most common questions, and we're going to try to answer those, you know, one by one. Try to fill you guys in. And I think the one that we keep seeing the most is, why won't you just put the opt-in as the main beta? I, I have a sense of deja vu, like we talked about this in the last we, we, podcast. We did, we talked about it a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, right, that's kind of what we're going to do. I mean, when we release. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> when, when this thing's ready, we're going to put it out. It'll be the thing, right? And that's what we're going to go with. We're not quite ready to do that yet. We will be ready to do it probably sooner than you think. It's right around the corner. Yeah. It really is. And so, yeah, when that time comes, we'll make the switch. And, you know, no matter what people say... People still expect, if the game is on Steam, for it to be at a certain level of playable and steady. You know, we can't offer the stability that most people are expecting, and we don't see any harm in letting the old one run for just a little bit longer while we finish things up. Yeah, everything's going to come about in due time, and it's not, yeah, like you said, it's just around the corner. So yeah. just hang in there for a little while, and we'll be there. Oh, yeah. Another thing that we've been seeing a lot uh, with the opt-in, and I think it's more Windows 10 caused than mm -hmm. the opt-in. They just happen to be at the same time. Uh, people with AMD cards are having some issues right now, uh, specifically with like freezing and hitching. That's new from the old freezing and hitching people would get. Uh, it seems to be the specific R9 2XX uh, series of cards. We're going to reach out to AMD and see what we can figure out. We're aware of the issue, and we're doing what we can to figure it out. For now, there's a thread in the forums. If you'll post in there your exact system specs, your Catalyst driver versions, all of that, that will be extremely helpful to us. Yeah, you bring up a good point, too, with, uh, you know, you've got the game new update coming out on that and Windows 10 coming out about the same day, yeah. plus, you know, so, yeah. It makes troubleshooting a little more hard to figure out which one's causing an issue. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. Point. Another hot topic lately has been Aim Punch. Yeah, so that's something we've added in recently. Um, some people like it, some people don't, which is not a big surprise. Well, let's but, uh, explain exactly what it is. Okay, so aim punch is, if I'm aiming at you and you shoot and I get hit, my aim is going to drop down a little bit on the screen. So the, the dot I've got up is, is going to get punched down uh, a handful of pictures. You're, you're flinching as you get shot. Yeah, pretty much. You're flinching as you get shot. Um, so why would we add something like that in? Well, it... Kind of just makes sense, right? Like right. I, you're not, <laughs> you're gonna do a whole lot more than that if you actually get shot. But you right. know, we we want to have, uh, we want to bring some impact in with the weapons, right? So I mean, that just kind of, I mean, you just got shot. It's giving you that feeling of, hey, I just got shot. Um, well, and it makes you know other playstyles a little more viable. Where you know, if I'm suppressing a hallway with the saw. You know, you can't just walk out and perfectly hold your weapon and shoot me, right? right. Like, you know, you're getting clipped by rounds. You're just making it a little more hard to shoot. It's just more real. Two people don't just perfectly hold guns steady and shoot each other in the chest. That's yeah. not... Yeah, and I, I think I've seen some comments that, like, you know, random isn't good. Yeah. Um, it's not random, though. It's it's a very... Dis like, it is a set number of... It's a set amount that you get knocked straight down. So it's one of those things. It hits you, you notice it, but you can recover from it. Right. right. Um, but, and it's not just, like, it's not just that system by itself, right? We're, we're incorporating a lot of things to that, so we've got, we've got that, plus, um, you know, a while back we kind of changed the way the weapons kind of kick when you fire, right. plus we've got, uh, you know, the new weapon sounds, we've got new bullet impacts, we've got the new whips and cracks of bullets hitting around you. Yep. All of that is combining to, to become a package that really adds more physicality to combat, right? And it really... It's just it should hopefully be making those combats more fun, more enjoyable, a little more hectic. Yes, yes. So that's really the goal. It's you know to add some physicality when you get hit, and it ties in with the rest of this package as a whole to really kind of boost the combat up a bit more. And it is just really important to remember, like you said, it's not random. Right. Uh, no, there is not. a system. It's a learnable system. It's just a new skill to acquire. Right. So there's been a lot of confusion. Uh, we've changed kind of from our honor system of zero to and demon, um, <laughs> to a rank system of military ranks. Um, yep. And that seems to make sense. We, we thought it made perfect sense as we did it, where the military, we use military ranks. This yeah. is good stuff. Uh, but there's been some confusion. Hopefully you can clear that up. Sure, yeah. So, yeah, the reason we made the change is kind of like you're saying, it feels more army, right? Um, yeah. And beyond that, it kind of, 
So it feels more army, and it allows you to kind of get a better sense of progression, at least, you know, in my opinion. Like, if I'm, you know, ranking up from private to private first class, um, I it, that feels like something, right? And then it's going to reflect to other people I'm playing with versus, like, 39 to 40. Like, right. what does that really mean? Um, so it kind of helps you... Really, the big thing is it just feels more army. It's more army representation of your levels, uh, and at the same time, that shows up on the scoreboard. So you can kind of, at a quick glance, see what players on your team are have invested the same amount of time or close to it as you have, which you know, and get kind of a feel for the team pretty quickly. Um, I think it's the sub levels too that have a yeah, lot of people the sub levels are probably what's having people confused the most. And so yeah, there are. F- w- Within a rank, you will have levels within that five of them, right? And it's mm-hmm. more of a, just a checkpoint system than anything else, and it's really just there to kind of give you a sense of progression through it. Right. Because Rather than having one really long XP bar. With, <laughs> so, because while ranks feel more army, there's only nine of them right, yes. that we're using, um, and those need to stretch out at least a good portion of time, right? Um and so if it's just the ranks, you're going to be ranking up once every few months or something like that, potentially, especially on the higher end. So just having these little checks in there is just a little bit extra to kind of keep you motivated, keep you going. Uh, it's also worth noting with the rank system change, um, the amount of time you have to invest to actually reach Matt's rank has been cut dramatically. Mm-hmm. Um which, I, I mean, it's still like 2,000 hours or something crazy, right? I mean, it's still a major time investment, but uh, what we had before, if you were to actually reach what we had planned out, it would have just taken years. <laughs> We've had some people get pretty high, that's for sure. We have. Um, but even then, they were nowhere close to the like 100 levels or whatever that you could get up to. Right. With the release of the opt-in, you know, it was timed around the same time as the Windows 10 update, and this has made a lot of confusion in the community. People not sure if it's the opt-in they're having a problem with, if it's Windows 10 they're having a problem with. Yeah. Windows 10's different. Um, I love it. I'm having a good time with it. I've been using it for months already. Mm-hmm. But there's some things that it does differently that we didn't anticipate, that most, actually, a lot of game companies yeah. didn't anticipate. For example, my documents, you now need administrative rights to copy something to my documents. That has broken so many games because, you know, you always throw files sure, in my games yeah. and my documents, and now they can't. Um, so you're having to go through and, and set up executables, run it as, as administrator, and, you know, there's a lot of new hurdles that we're just now yeah. finding out we have to go over. We're also running into some things that, like, like you said, you've been using Windows 10 for a few months. In the in the trial builds, things worked okay. That was and then great. The full, they flipped the switch for the full release, and yeah. now a few things that were working aren't working anymore. So Yeah, there were some pretty... Odd changes right there at the end. So it's, you know, we're, we're working through them while y'all are working through them. So we'll... And we've got a lot of good information on the forums, but, you know, if you're hearing this and you're having problems, the most basic things are go ahead, make sure all of your executables in the Army game folder are set to run with administrative privileges, and uh, get the Punkbuster executable from the Punkbuster website and install it as a standalone. That fixes 95% of everyone's issues. Start there. If you have problems, though, you know, look on our forums, email us at aacm at americasarmy.com. We'll, we'll get you squared away. Uh, just understand that the troubleshooting is going to be a little crazy because we're looking at two different troubleshooting branches at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So another thread that was going on recently was people vaulting instead of jumping when they meant to jump. Now, this doesn't really happen to us internally, and it doesn't happen to a lot of people. And I, I've been wondering about that. I've been trying mm-hmm. to think, you know, why, why are we not seeing this as the big issue everyone else sees? Right. And then it occurred to me. We don't bunny hop. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the people, the way they're describing their style of gameplay, they're doing a lot of hopping. And so then, of course, it's going to be a lot more frequent that you would trigger something like that. Sure, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, it was kind of... seemed weird to me, too. You know, it's yeah. like, I don't really have issues with that system. But what has happened is uh, Dev Caterpillar looked at the distance uh, that it takes to trigger that event, and uh, I believe he cut it in half. Okay. Uh, he, he shortened it significantly so that you really need to be real close up against this thing for that to trigger. Uh, so hopefully that will not be an issue anymore. That's going to be coming out in the next opt-in update we do. So you bunny hoppers, you know, get out there and jump, jump, jump around and see <laughs> see if it works for you. Uh, we can't make it go away entirely because it's kind of hard to compensate for bunny hopping, you know, with that system yeah. in place in general. So 
So we'll probably just cut jump, actually. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Just, just do that. It'll be easier, yes. right? Who, soldiers don't jump. <laughs> then you've got 150 pounds of kid on you. You are not jumping. I wanted to also talk for a minute about Punk Buster. Uh, you know, we've been using Punk Buster since Punk Buster became Punk Buster. We yeah. were uh, one of their first, if not their first, clients. Uh, they had a long history with Even Balance and Punk Buster. Certainly we do. And uh, we have been noticing, uh, in the opt-in especially, that it's been causing some like some some dragging. Sometimes the game feels like it's playing sluggishly. Uh, micro stutters for years that people have had and stuff like that. We've been working to narrow that down and narrow it down, and it seems like it all came down to like a punk buster uh, issue. Yeah, which yeah, again, like you said, I mean, we we've known about some of these issues for a while. Lots of people report them. It's just taken us a while to track it down. Yeah, and, yeah, we just ended up in but, punk buster. And then the good thing is, you know, Dev Cardigan and Dev uh, Philbax dug real deep into this and. I think it's fixed. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're not seeing it anymore. We're not seeing the micro stutters. We're not seeing any of these problems that, that we've had in the past. Yeah, and it was just a, uh, I don't have all the details on it. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we'll get that from Phil back soon. Um, it, was, it was just a portion of Punk Buster, and I believe it was a new addition that was kind of causing some issues. And so, um, you know, we've worked with them, and we've gotten kind of the issue resolved. So that should hopefully clear up some of those problems that people are seeing with that. Right, uh, just you know the the um, the stutters and the long pauses, all of that yeah. should be gone. So when you get the next build of the opt-in, especially you guys that are having stutter issues that aren't caused by Windows 10 or <laughs> AMD graphics or any of these other things, we'd love you to get in and play, take a look, and see if you're having the same kind of information. Run a stat unit graph, send us the information. We want it all. We really think we fixed it, so we're really excited. Uh, you know, we've been getting a lot of sound feedback. We always get a lot of sound feedback. Always a popular topic. It is. You know, <laughs> a lot of changes, not just with WIs, with all the new mixing that's been happening. So yeah. it's understandable that you get a lot. You know, we just want to say that we're, we're pretty happy with the sounds. You know, we, we like the direction they're heading. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, we're still in a spot where, you know, uh, some people are loving it. Some people are still hating it. You know, it, the whole gamut, right? Yeah. We're getting everything in the spectrum as far as feedback and stuff. Uh, but we do feel like we're moving in the right direction. Um, we do still have some plans to keep tweaking a couple things yeah. here and there. But really, we're we're fixing sound bugs. We we're happy yeah. with our sound. Yeah. So you know, we're we're still working on a couple things. Like uh, this morning's play test, actually, we were playing. Um, you know, we're we're reworking the M4 a little bit, mm -hmm. just kind of tweaking some tweaks on that, some tweaks on a few other things. Um, so we're not saying you know, there's still some work going in, right. but we're really yeah, we're we're going to continue on the direction we're going and. Pretty soon, yeah, we'll be trying to wrap this thing up, just like we're trying to wrap everything up. Yeah, because we could do this forever. We could. <laughs> and, you know, with with the, you mentioned the M4, a lot of people are saying that guns are loud. Yeah. Guns are loud. Guns like, are loud. That's that's true. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, if, if I'm outside shooting, uh, I'm not going to hear you walk up on me. Yeah. So, and, and we've, we've heard some feedback of, like, you know, people will say, well, it, it's a game, and we want to hear the footsteps. Yeah. And, you know, that's, you know, understandable, but that's not the direction we're wanting to go. You know, right. If a gun is firing, it should be the majority of what you're hearing, right, and experiencing. And, again, that kind of goes back to, like, we were talking about with the, the aim punch, right? Mm -hmm. You've got this loud weapon sound. You've got the, the hit effects going on. You've got the aim punch happening. You've got the bullet whips and cracks. Like Again, it's all tying into that system that we're trying to focus on right now. Yeah, and, I, you know, I believe that in the end it's going to make for more tactical gameplay. You're going to have to think out a lot better when you're shooting, when you're not. You can make flanks work better because someone's spamming. And, you know, sure. there's there's a lot of options here. It's it's different. And it you is. just have to get yeah, used to we'll it. get used to it. It's, yeah. It could take some time. And there's a lot of things people are getting used to right now. That's right? true. I mean, it's a and a lot of people that initially posted things that were very negative at the beginning of this opt-in have come back a couple of days later and said, you know, now that I've had some time with it, I get it. You know, mm -hmm. I like it. I like where sure. you're going. So that's really nice. There's something we see a lot. It's a lot of people saying the saw's too easy. Yeah, people have been saying that. Um, I mean, I don't know. We, we've even on this opt-in, we've we've upped the recoil some more. Yeah. Um, I, I think we did make it a little bit easier to try to control that recoil once it starts happening. Try to get it back under control. Um, but yeah, I mean, like there are certainly people who think the saw's overpowered, right? Yeah. But I mean, we hear some from some people too that think the saw sucks now. So yeah, and um, you know, you can't deny that most of the time when you hop into a pub game. The saw's open. Like yeah. people just don't seem to be using well, it in general anyway. So at the end of the day, like there are people who think the saw's OP. Yeah. There are people who think the M twenty four is OP. Sure. There's people who think the M is OP. I mean, you know, but at the same time, most people still prefer to use the M four. 
Right, so, and, and there's also a reason these weapons are in a limited role. Right, exactly. Yeah, we want them to feel useful and powerful. Like we, we want there to be a reason that I'm going to go out and take that saw slot when mm -hmm. you know I know my M4 is good, but no, I've got a reason to go out and take these other weapons. So, I mean, if we really wanted to be fair as far as overpowered all around best <laughs> weapons, <laughs> M4 could probably, M4. probably use some nerfs. But yeah, you know, but uh, but like, again, you know, we've. The M4 is a primarily used weapon in it the is. army, right? For we a good want, reason. <laughs> yeah, and we want that to be a workhorse. We want yeah. it to reflect its, its actual uses. Um, it's a great weapon. So we want that gun to be good, but we also want to incentivize players to use these other guns. And again, in a limited role, I think we have a little bit of bandwidth to to make them powerful and fun to use. Um, you know, I don't... If, I mean, we, if we had one, one sniper slot, the sniper was balanced, like... Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but nobody's gonna want to leave the norm to go mess with him. I mean, so. if you've got you know Dev Doc posted up behind his desk with a saw and he's shooting at us, if I came up by to him by myself, it's gonna be a bad day. I'm yeah. gonna take a couple people to take down this machine gun desk that he has improvised in his desk because he's crazy. <laughs> but people don't expect it to work like that in the game. But right, that's that's yeah. kind of you know we want it to feel like that. You know. Yeah. No, and I feel like. We're pretty happy with where the guns are I, at. I, yes, and, I agree. And yeah, we, we realize people think certain guns are overpowered, but, you know, the, again, the guns are in a limited role, and, you know, if, if all the weapons are... If, if there's somebody who thinks a certain weapon is overpowered and then it kind of spreads to all the weapons, I think we're probably in a pretty good spot. Yeah, and you have to remember, we're not just balancing for rock, paper, shotguns between two shooters. We've got two teams right, of, yeah. of a certain structure. We're balancing at a team level, too. It's, there's more to it. Yeah, and if you think the saw's overpowered... Use the saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could help you. Well, everybody, that's going to be it this week for the OP cast. We will see you guys next time and hope you all enjoy playing the opt in.